West Midlands police have released the helicopter footage of the moment that a dramatic police chase came to an end when they used a the stinger to stop a stolen BMW X5. We're still within, I think, the other tactical units of one vehicle for cover. Lights are through the phase junction, Wellington Street, that Hadley Road. Vehicle through that light continues Wellington Road at the moment. Vehicle stung, vehicle stolen. Vehicle stung there, thank you. Thank you. Illuminated blue lights. It is going to be a foul to stop. Head pass confirmed for sure on board this engage on it. Head pass for good and visual. Thank you. That's good units to disengage then. Head pass to track for a decam. Thank you. Head pass comes with you. Head pass is still Wellington Street into Ward Street. Overtaking vehicles. He's back on the correct side of the road. Uh, Bilston Road now, Bilston Road. It was stolen from the Bordesley Green area of Birmingham and the thief took it to Wolverhampton, 20 miles away, and a helicopter was deployed to track the vehicle. It then turned around and headed back towards Birmingham and was pursued by the police. The tyres of the vehicle were punctured before it came to a stop and the helicopter police directed the officers to make the arrest. West Midlands police have also made an arrest in Birmingham in relation to a person that was stealing vehicles while he was going to pretend to buy them on Gumtree and sites similar. The 22-year-old was charged with eight counts of motor vehicle theft, two counts of fraud and also blackmail, and further charges in relation to drugs and weapon offences. More than a dozen cars were advertised for sale from addresses in Wolverhampton, Birmingham and Solihull. West Midlands Police Vehicle Task Force carried out extensive inquiries and raided chop shops in the local area trying to track down the vehicles. Of our top vehicle crime offenders that we know are wanted for vehicle crimes, but also provide victims of crime with 50 positive outcomes this week, 50 separate victims with positive news that we've resolved um, the theft of their vehicle. Yes, yeah, so we've executed a warrant under the Theft Act at a premises over in Spark Hill. Um, we'd received intelligence that they were storing and breaking cars here, uh, potentially illegally. It is operating as a vehicle breakers. We haven't found any stolen vehicles at the moment, but we look at the premises that it's operating in, um, it's not suitable to be used as a breakers. There's no registered business here, so they're going to be in contradiction of a lot of licensing laws, um, which they will put lots of referrals into Birmingham City Council and we'll get the business closed down. Every day we're coming in, we're reviewing the latest 24 hour crime that's gone on with vehicle thefts, reviewing those crime reports, seeing if we've got any lines of investigation, reviewing the latest intelligence that comes in. That will dictate where we deploy over the next 24 hours. Officers in a proactive element, so out in cars, out in marked cars, in plain clothes, um, and we'll deploy into the hotspot areas. We'll also take a really robust approach to anybody locked up for theft of motor vehicle. We've arrested now over 150 people by the team which has been dealt with. Um, half of those people have been charged and taken to court. Some of those people remain under investigation. So we're actively still um, gathering evidence in other cases and we'll continue to do so in order to fight the current issues around vehicle crime within the West Midlands. A lot of our communications department have been focusing around getting clear messaging um, to our victims you know, around checking that their fob has done its job. If your vehicle is not locking, that's probably because someone's jamming the signal. Don't leave your vehicle unattended. Get yourself a decent steering lock, one that covers the whole steering wheel. We're currently running the pilot this week in areas of Birmingham that we know where we've got vulnerable vehicle types where thieves have been targeting, providing um, registered keepers and people who frequent that area with a special discount code so they can go and buy a lock, but also asking people to remain vigilant when they're parking the cars, when they're at home, if they see suspicious activity, make sure they notify the police um, so we can come. And meanwhile in Coventry, just outside of Birmingham, still part of the West Midlands area, police have seized two cannabis factories on two streets that are next to each other on the same day. They believe that these cannabis factories are connected and they're worth over £300,000 altogether. It was only the other day that I was covering a story from Tipton where two cannabis factories were found on the same street in the same day also. It's becoming a very common occurrence. And Coventry police said that they've found 20 farms so far this year alone in only a small city and a lot of them have been found via burglaries. Police found 200 plants in one of them and 90 plants in the other and a lot of harvested cannabis as well. Electric was also bypassed so they wasn't paying for the electric which is definitely a good thing because of the cost of living. So I really appreciate you joining me for these stories. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.
We're just watching the cannabis removal team taking out the cannabis from this factory in Tipton. Is that the cannabis? <laughs> 